Today we will go over locking screws. I know that we mentioned locking screws in a previous video, but I figured they deserve their own video as I know that I have been pimped on their utility while on my fourth year rotations, and so it is a great topic to review as a medical student gearing up for them. So a locking screw is one that has male threads on the head of the screw that fit into the female threads within a locking plate. You can see an example here. Notice how when a locking screw is placed, it is a fixed angle construct. This would be advantageous for patients with poor bone quality, as in patients with osteoporotic bone, since you might not be able to rely heavily on the purchase within the bone for stability. Another key advantage is the increased resistance to pull out with locking screws. As you can see in this example with locking screws, you have to have the entire construct fail compared to non-locking screws, which can fail screw by screw. Thus, locking screws have increased resistance to pull out. A feature to take note of with locking screws are that they are unable to suck the plate down to the bone, which may be a disadvantage if you are looking for this function intraoperatively. This is because they cannot compress past the threads in the plate and trying to screw it in further would strip the threads on the head, thereby eliminating your locking function. Okay, here is a quick summary of the points I went over in this video. See you all in the next one.